Hey guys, and welcome. My name is NG Paradox, and welcome back to Runestone. Now, you may have noticed, obviously, the last few parts, we've had a lot of revolts and stuff to deal with, and obviously that is partly because of the different cultures and religions in this mod. It makes it a bit more difficult, so I feel like now that we've, to be honest, we've basically taken over the veil, it's just going to be a slow and, you know, just sort of gradual consumption of the rest of the veil before we can form the veil. So I feel like now I need to concentrate a lot more on trying to convert the people of our lands, at least change their religion, because that's something I think we need to concentrate a lot more on. So we've got the old gods faithful. Let's have a quick look at what we can find. So if we go up to where the non-revolts are, obviously over here we have the Corbrys. They are old gods, but his children are not. Down here we have someone who's faith for the seven. I need to try and get a lot more into actually asking them to maybe change their religion. Um, demand religious conversion, that type of thing. And we must be at peace. So we can't do it right now. So after the war we will look into that. But it's something I need to press on with and try and keep that in mind. We should always be looking to try and to get them to convert their religion. It's the only way we can have peace. I keep forgetting to do that, so I do apologize. That's something I must do. We'll make a Ned Red for it for now. And we'll continue. Now, in this war, our allies are going to be the big thing. We need our allies. I don't have the support that I used to have. We have a few men up here. Why don't you just come over here and join these men? In fact, you can just move forward a bit just to get a bit closer. But yeah, we don't have the support that we used to have. Um, we can't take out this rebellion on our own. This is basically going to come down to our allies. King Clarence of Wayfarer's Rest accepted King Brian of the Blackwood Vale's peace offer. Now, this mod has been updated a lot since I started this series. I do hopefully plan to download the most recent version, which is save game compatible. But I know that they've changed a lot of things and whatnot, um, which is awesome. This mod obviously is getting changed all the time. It's still relatively young compared to a lot of mods. I'm hoping that they'll change a lot of the historical things, like the whole thing. The Blackwood Vale, I, the Blackwood should not be here. If I remember correctly, the Blackwoods actually should be in the north at this time period, and the Grey Stark shouldn't be there. I don't know if they've changed those things, some of those historical things. That's kind of the only thing that really annoys me. The only things that annoy me so far about the mod are kind of the Iron Isles. <laughs> I just, I don't like what they've done. I know they've done it for balance reasons, because they want to make this a more fair game and fun game for multiplayer and whatnot, but I don't know, I just, that's not for me. I like a bit more realism and history involved. I, I want some of the historical things fixed and that type of thing fixed, but that's just me personally so far. Overall, though, I've really enjoyed this series. I think it offers a different kind of way to play. What is this? Arya Rainwood needs an education focus. She's a little bit ill. A little bit ill. Um, she's got two in for not good ones there. Yeah, Willful and Fussy. She has Willful here, so she's okay at fighting. Spy Master, she's got Fussy there. she got zero for that, so I guess we should go for Marshall then, because at least she's got a four in there. She's going to be good at fighting, I guess. She's already an adept warrior, so, I mean, she's already been learning that type of thing. There we go. Now I think we should go and join our allies. Um, Our allies are all over here trying to siege them out. Let's try and come this way. They are going to go, yeah, so maybe we can come this way and we can get closer to Hard Vale. If we can capture Hard Vale, 1,400 men, uh, Hardens, how dare you? You are you are old gods, you're not even faithful for the Seven, and you betray me. Ugh, the world's a dangerous place, and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached me that people are conspiring to kill my son, Robo Royce. How, how dare they? Robo Royce. What known plots do we know? So I don't know who's doing it. We just heard maybe someone is. We're going to have to be careful. Have to be careful indeed. Designated regent, commander. Could be some commander positions to maybe put in. But it's fine. They will go around this way. There's only 2,000 in there and only 10,000 there. So it's not really like they can actually do much. Um, what? I feel like my allies had a lot more men. Mutin, Mud. Is that all their men they brought? The rivers and hills? They both lost so many men. <laughs> They've lost so many men. 
That is pretty bad. We have to get to them, yeah. It's the only way they'll be able to win. We have to get there and help them because they've lost so many men to attrition and whatnot. It's ridiculous. You've got 900 men here. How many, do you have any more men you can bring? If your men die, he's got 10,000 overall. He's got 6,000. Ooh. Okay, so my allies actually don't have as many men as I thought they would. They've actually brought quite a small amount. Now, they could defeat this one, but the second army coming, that would be way too hard for them. So we, need, we have to bring this army up to help them. Uh, Mud is now known as the patient. When does he get there? 15th of July, 22nd. Yeah, so they're going straight in on the attack. This is bad. They've got the hills to protect them for now, but we have to get there as soon as possible. And there's no river there. I'm not sure we're going to get there in time. 15th of August, the 22nd. When do we get there? The 13th of August. That'll be two days before they get there. We will be able to get to the rest. I'm not sure we're going to make it. Um, but let's choose a commander. R my son, Roba, uh, Banner, and Oswin Waxley? Um, we could choose him. Now let's go for Os. Let's just see what other commanders we have, actually. We have a choice to put some more in. Another commander. Uh, Edison Tollett. I do like the Tollets, but still. Hey, it's Ed Tollett, I just realized. Oh, we're not going to get there in time. The Blackwood Vale War for, to make King Clarence of Wayfarers rest pay tribute. Okay. So they're going to move away, which is kind of good. But that could lead them to come towards me, which will gain us attrition, which is not good. 10th of August. We managed to just escape. Both our armies together could take them on, definitely. But I don't want to suffer attrition right now. Layla has given birth to a stillborn little son. Ah, sad day for the Celtigers. Oh, that was, yeah. It's one of his many, many wives. So they're going to come back this way, actually. So what do I want to do? I guess we'll head back. Because they don't want to suffer attrition. Oh, no, they are going to go attack them. Okay, this is Hill still. Because they get out on the 2nd of September, the 31st of August, and the 13th of September. So, 31st of August. I'll get there on the 9th of September. Really? So, 10,000 gets against 9,000. They have the hills. That would be good for them. We'll get there next. Okay, that seems good to me. We're going to join. Maybe they'll stop. No, they they are going to... No. No, they both decided to run away. Okay, I'm going to go this way then. Because, again, I don't want to suffer attrition. But we're going to have to suffer attrition now. Because I had to change my actions where I was going to go. Maybe I should have waited for them to get there first. And then change my direction? No, that would be too much. Oh, we're losing men. We don't need to lose men to attrition, guys. This is the last thing that we need right now. And a daughter was born to my son... A second daughter, Mary Ann, and she is a hunchback. Well, that that is perfect. Great. Okay, they're now going to go back. And they've suffered attrition as well, it seems. They're going to fight my allies with 2,000 men. And the King of Cracklaw um, Point has just died, Keltiger. And his, wow, nine-year-old daughter has become the queen. The claw cream, the queen. The Dragon Guards. House Penimion. Okay. The question is now, do I just go back and try and take Hard Veil? I think we have to stay over our, we have to stay near our allies, because if they get attacked, that is the end of the war, definitely. If this stack of men get attacked and lose, that is completely the end of the war. We have to stay with them and make sure they are not destroyed. It's the only way. Stupid, stupid rebellions. No white piece. Harden is not willing to negotiate. Okay, they are going to go on the attack. Now, 10,000 against 9,000. They can win with that hills right there. So I'm going to wait for them to attack before I join in. The 27th. No, he's going to have... No, 20, they are going in. That's our friends, though. It's the 8th of December. So if I go in now, they'll stop. And we have to get them into a fight. The world's a dangerous place. 
and Divas Plus are ever. Someone's trying to kill my other son, Prince Yorick. He's only seven years old. Who are these people? People do not like me right now. People don't like the Bronze King Yorick. Has to be said. And there we go. Now, my allies should win, but we have to go in just in case. Please, you... Come on, you, you gotta fight better than this. You can hold them off. But it looks like we'll get there to help in time. There we go. Wow, they, they really did a good stand just there. This is getting... Wow. They actually defeated us. How did they do that? Someone's trying to kill... God, I can't believe they defeated us. That really surprised me. Is it because one of my characters was not there? But still, that was a... We had a lot more men than they did. Huh. Arnold Corbury has converted. Is that the son? Damn. It's not. Who's Arnell? I have no idea who Arnell Corbury is. Ah, this one. Okay. So we conferred another person there. Great. I can't believe we lost that battle, though. That is a big loss for us. This, uh... This needs us to go back to the drawing board. I may have to just spend a ton of money and get mercenaries to be able to win this. My spy master secluded himself. Devious plots against... Everyone's trying to kill us right now. How have things gone so awry? <laughs> okay, 1,500 men. That's not going to be enough. But we've inherited a barony. Okay, I don't really need this barony right now. I'm just going to quickly create a new vassal. Done. What to do here? Now. The allies are going to Pradle. They're going up here. I can't do anything. I can't go help or move or anything. They're in trouble. So what's going on here? So this is hills. They're attacking them. And they're going to the mountain of the moon. So they're going to go attack them there. In the hills. Who gets there first? So the 2nd of April... So they're going to attack them in the hills. That seems like a bad idea. I'm going to have to help them. <laughs> we can't lose more. But we're not even doing... A, we can't seem to defeat them anyway. This is ridiculous. Okay, who should we send with these two? I guess you'll have to do for now. Um, but yeah, no. This is really bad right now. We can't seem to defeat them even when we had an advantage. His men, he did lose a lot of men, though, it has to be said. How did I get there first? Oh, no, I didn't. I, I thought I got it because I saw the five. Now they're getting their asses kicked. We're getting the 12th of April. I can go to help, but with those hills and the fact they defeated us last time, I don't know if we can defeat them. But I can't just let them die. I feel like we have to go in. There we go. Okay, it seems like it's made the difference. They're holding us off. How do they keep doing this? But we push through. Okay, this time we won. Okay, we needed that. We needed a win. Let's just go to Hardvale. Let's just capture the capital they have. Their men are all up here. Hopefully, they're, they're probably coming around, aren't they? Yes, they are. Ugh. See, the, the war for the veil is not done yet. We may be winning, but there's still lots of people who don't like the idea of United Veil. They'll keep fighting me over this. We must convert them all. Your ward is learning from my lessons. Okay, he's an adept warrior. Good job, son. We've got to head to the camp. We've got to get some more war score. I would love to make a white... I'd be happy to make a white piece of you guys. You're still my people. You're still oh God's faithful. Come on. I know you doubt what we can do, but we can do it. So 7,900 here, 7,000... If these guys get to us, which they are coming here, we would have about equal men to them. Whether that would be enough, as we saw last time, when we fought these guys, is questionable. And our allies' men are all running out of the Vale right now. They are coming to Hard Vale. What to do right now? Did I just see a new plot? I didn't see exactly what it said. Okay, so we found out who does want to kill my son. And it is Lisa Belmore. 
And he's a lunatic. Of course he is. You will not end the plot. You son of a... And Dario of Runestone is helping. Can you please leave the plot? Maybe it's already asking him. That's why I can't ask him to. But yeah. Okay. When do you get here? 1st of August. Let's wait for those guys to get here. Okay. God's Revolt. Okay. Old, is that, does it say Old God's Revolt in the God's Eye? That would be very nice indeed. Old God's Uprising. Yes, that's it, my friends. Rise up against those Faith of the Seven. He has 5,000 men. He's going to need more than that. Um, I, I love this here. Just this little thing in the middle of the God's Eye. Kagan Eric. Not... <laughs> I'm guessing that's the little bug, but yeah, just makes me laugh whenever I see that. Ah, I need something to laugh at. Now, lots of guys are going to stay. We should be able to win. We should. We should be able to win if we sit here because we have the hill. Do we have river? We don't have river. We do have the hill, and these are his only men. He's not coming to attack us. That's a good sign. He doesn't think he can win. If I can get these guys to come up, it looks like they are coming back. 3,000 men will set us up quite nicely. Viprin is now known as the Young. Is he going to my capital? I think he is going to my capital, isn't he? I'm hoping we just take this capital, though. What will happen is that they'll make want to make white peace. We're going to increase the time, though, because we're basically just watching them move about and trying to get the siege done. They're probably going to get it before we can do it. It is getting close, though. But they, they won't be able to take us on. They need to meet up with these guys first. And something is going on over here. Gull Town. What is going on with Gull Town? Have they just raised their men to help fight against me? Or are they fighting someone else? Who is this? Sea Dog Cove. Okay, looks like they're getting raided. That's why. Okay, that's fine. We've lost a lot of men trying to siege this, though. So they are, oh, yeah, they're coming back. They know that we're in trouble, and they've blocked this path. And these guys have gone around here. They get to Grey Glen, we're in trouble, because we'll have to jump across. 18th of December. Okay, they're moving away. But yeah, we won't be able to take these guys on. We don't have enough men, I don't think. You know, last time we had that fight, it did not go well for us. And if we move into here, we might have to fight them. And even though we could definitely defeat them, I should have fought them when they first got there, actually. That would have been the best option to do. Ugh. So many mistakes in this war. We've lost too many men. How many men can we call upon? We don't really have many more men we can call upon. And not straight away, at least. This is not good. We have a few men we can get here. A few men from there. 200 from here. Probably not going to help. And that is it. Like I said before, I might just have to get some mercenaries. It might be the only way. I'm, I'm going to leave that for now. We know it's always an option. For now, though, 15th of January. How much can I leave it for? We're not going to capture it, are we? That's the thing. I don't think we're going to capture it in time by the time he gets here. Yeah. We can't do that. These guys are going up there. 1,000 men. Okay, so with 1,000... You know what? With these men, we probably could take them on. You know what? I think we could, actually. If those men can get her in time, 22nd of January, 15th, I think they could get her in time and actually help out. That's something to increase. I'm going to stay here then. We're going to stand here in Hard Vale, their own capital. They're going to come to attack now. We'll get a defensive bonus from the hills. That is good. 22nd. He'll get her on the 6th. That gives them time to get there. If these guys join in, though, that actually is a problem. That would be the problem. That will give us about the same amount of men, but we'd have the advantage. Hopefully these guys can distract them. 
I might just have to sacrifice them as a distraction. That might have to be the way we go with this. 20th of February. Okay, I'll let them... Okay, so we're fighting here with the advantage of the hills. These guys get there on the 11th. Come on, my men. Oh, they don't seem to be able to hold them off. Look at the morale just shooting down. What do these guys have that we don't? Let's have a quick look. Light infantry. They have a lot of light infantry. We don't have that much. Heavy infantry. 2,700. Yeah. It feels like they just have more of everything, which doesn't make any sense. I guess we have more light cavalry. Um, heavy cavalry. Heavy, they don't really have heavy, they have a lot of heavy infantry. I think not just because they have so much heavy, no, but it's not much more. I don't know. It's hard for me to digest exactly what is going on in these battles. Because it feels like it shouldn't be that big a difference, especially with that advantage. But this is obviously different from vanilla. They've obviously changed some things when it comes to the combat. Because otherwise this doesn't make any sense right now. So now we've just gone back to zero. You guys need to get over here. Okay, just run away. <laughs> we'll just have to run away for now. Ah, oh, so frustrating. They're going to come after these guys. going to run them back. I'm going to have to get some mercenaries. It's the only way we can win this. Let's see what we can get then. Mercenaries. I could also tell my allies what to do, actually. I forgot you could do that. It's obviously something they added quite a while ago. Yeah, but they don't have many men. This is the problem. And there's no more men coming. They're basically all with me, apart from this one. Who can't really do much. So yeah, let's go, let's go back to mercenaries. What can we get? 300. The men of the north. Second son. The second men of the... <laughs> the second... If you didn't want the first men, you know, they're, they're the most popular one. We're the second men. We're the second best. Um, and we got the men of bronze. Ooh, the men of bronze is... What I think we should be getting. Yeah. Definitely. That's the ones we should be getting. I, we can afford that. And there's... These guys coming right here. Now, they will appear in runestone, yes? Yeah, that's a problem. We're going to delete those guys for now. Because we can't have them jumping on. Because they have low morale as well. So we have to wait for them to either get in runestone. Then we can move them... Or we'll wait for him to leave it. Or we'll wait for him to leave. So they're going to follow me completely. Yeah, we're going to need a big, big army. How many men does he have? Seven. He didn't lose any men, basically, in that war, in that battle. That is extremely frustrating. These guys are coming all the way back to Runestone. That's actually kind of good for me. We're probably going to need quite a few men, actually, for this war. That is a point. Yeah, we're going to need quite a few men. I can't believe how this war's gone. I knew it was going to be difficult, but still. It's uh, taken me by surprise. A few of those battles, I feel like we should have had a good chance of winning. But we're just going to have to think about that. We're going to keep that in mind that we're going to need more men than they have when we fight them. They've obviously got some good men or some good leaders here. Maybe leaders have more of an effect in this one than other mods and stuff. Okay. So again, we get this. I don't want this. Please, take it away from me. I can be 3,000 men here now. We're the men of bronze. We want these guys, and we need more. We need more and more men. Men of the veil. They're much cheaper. But they're faith of the seven. We can't... We can't have men of the... We can't have those guys fighting for us. Let's get... The West, Gold, Reach, Iron Isles, High Garden. Where's the Riverlands men? There's not enough of them, though. We're going to have to go with those Northmen, I think. We need lots of men. Yeah, the men of the North. Perfect. This is going to cost me a lot of money, but... Yeah, to win a war, something you've got to spend money. And Jorin. Okay, you can go there. My son will lead the... Maybe my son's just not good. He does have morale defense because he's craven. That could be what's affecting it. He's got terrible things. This guy's not too bad. But he's my son. We have to send him out to battle. And I'm going to attack these guys actually first. 
except for those guys are going to come after us. <laughs> Which is very worrying, because that would actually give them a lot of men. We might need even more men to bring in. You know what? We're going to need more men. I'm going to spend all my money to win this war. Which is frustrating, but you got to do what you got to do. That may be too much. That may be just pushing it. No. It's not. Do it. There we go. All the men. All the old gods men in the whole of Westeros shall be mine. We need to get that morale up. Okay, with this, we should be able to deal a crushing blow to them. I think they're going to bring their men together. We need to attack them before they do that. But I need to get my morale up first. Hopefully our morale gets up before they can join their men together. If I move him, maybe he'll stop. Yes, he will. Good. Keep them in place. We want to keep these guys separate. He's going to move back. That's exactly what I want to see. <laughs> oh, yes. We've completely confused them about my motives. Then we'll attack them. This has got plains. Is there a river here? There's no river. Okay. Hopefully we can just hold on when it comes to our cash. I've got low morale right now. I'm going to leave it for a second. We need to get more morale. Okay, there we go. That should be enough. They're gonna keep. They're gonna continue into here. No, they're not. Okay, go straight into there. Go attack them. These guys are gonna move away. You come back. Just go back through the mountains. These guys can fight them. Defeat those two thousand men, hopefully, and then we can chase down the six thousand. We need to do it as soon as possible because this is costing us a ridiculous amount of money. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? We captured their leader. Did, we didn't even need to spend all that money, did we? Actually, maybe we did because it was able to put them off. But there we go. The war has been won. What to do? If, oh, we spent all that money on those mercenaries, but they're going to be costing me so much money to have. I have to get rid of them. We have to get... And we've lost so many men. Ah, oh, This is frustrating in so many ways. This is frustrating, but there's nothing I can do. Pick an ambition. We won the war. I guess that's what matters. Build a war chest, yeah. We need to continue paying for our wars and these rebellions. And now we can look to see who we can convert. We must convert these people. He is old gods. His son is old gods, so he is good. This guy and this guy. Please. You will not convert. Do I send you a gift? We're going to need our money. I feel we have to get rid of these mercenaries. Factions? Loyalists? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, delete them. We're going to have to. I, I can't afford to have that money coming out my pocket all these times. But yeah, maybe we won't be able to convert him though. Her though. She was uh, she was an enemy. We could demand her. She'll be released from prison if she accepts, which I think is probably worth it, to be honest. Yeah, we're, we're more we're more concerned about actually converting these people and getting them on our side. Yeah. Demand religious conversion. There we go. How about up here? You guys are... You guys are... You guys are as well, of course. Nope, that's me. <laughs> Belmore, though, is. Um, who is not? We gave these to our old gods, people. Who are the ones who are not? I was, I'm always forgetting who is, is and who isn't. You can't really tell from that. Can I tell from my core, my vassal view? We look have a quick look through this. Let's go this way. Yeah, we'll go through and just make sure all the ones who are old gods and which ones are faith of the seven. But maybe because we took down that rebellion, people now will look at me with kinder eyes. We got to deal with those traitors as well. Corbry is, Hunter is as well. Just need to go check. This is something I have to do. Um, Tall Gold Shet. Nope. We know he isn't as well. Um, Coldwater, Tollet isn't. Creek? Creek, that's the one I need to change. I could give him some money, possibly. That could be a possible way to convert him. Maybe. Wideman is not. We can demand his religious conversion because he's now in jail. Uh, Yon, I think, is. Yeah, Yon is. 
With a name like Yon, of course he had to be. Uh, Dario Runestone, he is. John Pass, he's fine. Who do we have? Waxley. Waxley is as well, okay. I think we've gone through most of them. Yeah, most all the main ones. There we go. So that's most of them, apart from this guy. He's the only kind of Faith of the Seven person directly underneath me. If I send him a gift, maybe he'll like me more. We'll try it out. I think it's worth it. He will now convert. Perfect. So there we go. Everyone now should be of the proper religion. Um, and we should probably worship the ancestors, I think. Yeah, to celebrate our victory against my own people and convert. Thank you, Wideman. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, those people. Very good indeed. What are you planning to do? End your plot, good lady. I'm still trying to kill him. Okay. But we still have people in my dungeons. Um, we have quite a few, actually. We've got Bethany here. From uh, my my father's wife is still in that jail cell. I, we, I mean, she's basically lived there the whole life. I mean, we, that's basically a home now. I don't. I think I feel like bad if we took her out. We got Donald Hardin. There we got to deal with him. We've got Geralt Bale. We got to deal with him. More in Belmore. Got to deal with him and Torgold Chet. Those are the main instigators of this rebellion. We're going to have to deal with them as well. But we're going to end this part here. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Phew, we defeated the rebellion, but it did cost us a lot. But we make a lot of money, so hopefully we can get that back as quickly as possible. And once we feel like we're a bit more settled when it comes to our people, we can continue the expansions, continue the wars. We're almost there. Look at this. We're almost to the point where the veil will be ours. And we can create the title of the veil. Ah, it's been a while to get to this point, but hopefully we can get there without any more disturbances. I'll see you next time.